Have you seen the buzz about a new machine that supposedly turns air into gasoline? That's right. I kept seeing this product pop up, Aircella. The company claims it can create real, engine-ready gasoline using only air, water, and renewable electricity. It sounds like science fiction, the kind of technology that could change the world if it's real. But is it actually revolutionary innovation or just a slick-looking scam? According to Aircella's official website, this machine makes fuel in three steps. It captures CO2 from the air, splits water to get hydrogen, then combines both to make methanol, which is turned into gasoline. The fuel is fossil-free and can be made almost anywhere, even in your driveway. But here's where the red flags start piling up. First and foremost is the lack of technical depth. Aircella explains the process in vague terms, but omits critical details. There are no efficiency metrics. How much electricity does it take to produce one liter of gasoline? No mention of the catalysts involved in converting methanol to gasoline, and no figures on how much fuel the machine can actually produce per day. Without this kind of transparency, it's almost impossible to assess the machine's performance or feasibility. Then there's the question of economic viability. Even if the machine works, is it affordable? There's no information on the cost per liter of fuel, the machine's price tag, maintenance expenses, or energy costs. Clean fuel technology doesn't just need to work. It needs to compete economically with traditional fuels and electric alternatives. Aircella says nothing about this. Next, Aircella's claims about scalability seem overly ambitious. The idea that this machine could work in your driveway or in the remotest parts of the world is questionable. Electrolysis and carbon capture both require stable and significant electricity inputs. These are not small, off-grid processes. Scaling up clean fuel production is incredibly challenging, even for large, well-funded operations. We also can't ignore the issue of thermodynamic inefficiency. This system uses electricity to make a fuel, only to burn that fuel later, a process that's far less efficient than directly using electricity in, say, electric vehicles. Each step in Aircella's system adds energy loss, making the overall well-to-wheel efficiency likely very low. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, there's no third-party validation, no peer-reviewed research, no pilot programs, no partnerships with energy institutions, and no independent testing. In the energy sector, these are critical for separating breakthrough technologies from marketing hype. While the concept behind Aircella is exciting, there's just not enough data to prove it's real or viable. Until we see transparent technical documentation, verified results, and real-world deployment, skepticism is not only fair, it's necessary. Always look beyond the buzz.